Perseverance was on the move this week, starting its long journey to the Delta deposit of ancient Lake Jezero. On Sol 282, December 4th on Earth, it started its day by capturing a stunning panorama of the frigid Martian landscape in the early morning light. Perseverance has been exploring the olivine-rich rocks of the Sita terrain, which may be explosive volcanic ash deposits. After collecting two core samples, it's now ready to depart Sita to the south and then follow its tracks back east and then north around this dune-covered terrain to get to the delta. The new panorama spans 180 degrees, covering parts of the delta, the Kodiak Mesa Delta remnants, and the mountainous crater rim. After an overnight low of minus 116 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 82 C, the MassCam Z camera had to crank up its heaters before it could shoot this panorama at about 8 in the morning. At this time, the atmosphere on this summer sol was relatively clear. Looking southeast, the morning light creates strong shadows and a bright sky as atmospheric dust scatters light toward the camera. Panning around to the northwest, the sky gets darker as the dust scatters light away from the camera and the shadows flatten out. The eroding cliffs of the main delta deposit are about two kilometers away, or about one and a quarter miles. The layers here are mostly obscured by debris, unlike in the eroded delta remnant named Kodiak Mesa. Mascam Z shot this scene a few hours later using its full 110 millimeter zoom capability. Here's a famous tower for scale and to help show the foreground terrain in this scene. Kodiak's cliffs reveal the textbook layering of a delta deposit. Panning further south, rover tracks come into view. Perseverance made these tracks when it entered Sita back on Sol 201, almost three months ago. And here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance is now following these tracks out and will exit Sita in this location. My favorite part of the panorama includes these interesting sand ripples in the foreground and a mountain in the distance with the crater rim as a backdrop. This unnamed mountain was imaged with MassCam Z's full zoom later in the morning. It has a relatively fresh impact crater on its side, about 100 meters or 330 feet across. This crater shows up nicely in the orbital view, which also shows just how far away this little mountain is nearly 18 kilometers, or about 11 miles, from Perseverance. The last thing I'll present is the rover tracks right in front of Perseverance. Mars Guy helps show just how wide they are. The wheels are about 13 inches wide, and the tracks are about 9 feet, or 2.7 meters apart, edge to edge. The tracks still look pretty fresh, even after about 3 months, since Perseverance drove this way. But they won't last long. Here's a view of the tracks from the Spirit rover. Mars Guy helped show that it was a much smaller rover with wheel tracks about a meter apart. Spirit was parked here for a few weeks during a global dust storm, which happens every few years. After it ended, Spirit's tracks had been wiped out. Apparently surface winds had been strong enough to redistribute the dirt. So it's only a matter of time before the same thing happens to the tracks of Perseverance.